Hi, my name is John Bosworth. I'm a licensed mental health counselor in St. Pete, Florida, and I'm in private practice. I'd like to talk a little bit about the psychological effects of color. It's kind of an interesting phenomenon. A lot of times when I think about it or when people ask me about it, I think of the, uh, the bullfighter, you know, with the, with the red cape, and it tends to, to uh, you know, instigate anger or arousal in the animal. Um, I think humans, we may get a little bit of that depending on where we are, but I think a lot of uh, um, psychological effects of color tend to probably also go along with somebody's mood or their basic personality um, in general. If you have somebody that's more of a, you know, kind of an outgoing, uh, you know, fun-loving, outspoken person to begin with, they're probably going to like brighter colors or brighter shades, more sunlight in the house, that kind of thing. Somebody that's more of what I call the Eeyore type, always down and nothing's ever right, you know, poor me, that kind of thing, tends to, um, not always, but tends to, to maybe favor some of the dark colors, you know, some of the darker colors or even less light in the house. So you, we've also heard some of the stories about, you know, the red cars, you have a red sports car, or a shiny red car, tends to get more tickets. I don't know whether that's because it appears faster or because it's a little bit more noticeable among some of the other kind of bland shades. Um, so I think there's a lot of interesting theories floating around out there, but in my opinion, they're really just theories. And I think there's a lot of leeway between um, people and some of the effects that color produces on people. My name's John Bosworth, and I'm talking a little bit about the psychological effects of color.